question one, one point one diagram with a to d a to d are the coordinates of this diagram and we have the questions 1.1.1 1. 1. 1 says determine the gradient a b 1.1.1 1. 1. 1. the gradient a b is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 is the formula then let's just say this is x1 y1 x2 y2 then it's going to be 5 minus negative 2 divided by 3 minus negative 4 then it's going to be 5 plus 2 3 plus 4 which will be 7 then we have 1.1.2 1. 1. it says determine the length AB I want the distance from here up until here I'm going to use the distance formula which is equals to the square root x2 x1 squared plus y2 y1 all squared then it's going to be 3 minus negative 4 5 minus negative 2 squared you can use the calculator to find the value which will be 7 the square root of 2 units now we can look for 1.1.3 1.1.3 1. 1. 1. says the midpoint AB I want the midpoint the center of this line then you can use the formula again x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 then x1 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 is negative 4 plus 6 3 2 and y1 again is negative 2 plus 5 then it's going to be negative 1 over 2 3 divided by 2 then you can conclude by saying that the midpoint AB negative 1 over 2 3 divided by 2 1.2 we have a diagram with point A. This is point A. And on this diagram, we have this theta. And now on the questions, we have 1.2.1. It says, determine the value of R. I forgot R here. This R here. I want the value of this. Then let's do it. It's going to be 1.2.1. The value of R. I'm gonna use the theorem of Pythagoras and square it. Here, you can complete a triangle. It's going to be something like this. And the distance from here to here it is negative 3. And here to here is negative 4. And now, the remaining side is this R. Then you can find it going to be r squared x is negative 3 squared plus y is negative 4 squared then it's going to be 9 plus 16 and the value of r will be 5 next we have 1.2.2 it says determine the values of course theta and tan theta 1.2.2 let's start with cos theta here we have this angle theta and when we're doing trig ratios we take this angle theta as if it's inside this triangle and it's going to be something like this and now to find cos theta we need to know what is cos. 
course is adjacent oh one adjacent and portionist and here the distance from here to here is the hypotenuse and here to here is the adjacent and here to here is the opposite one and now here we need adjacent and hypotenuse adjacent is negative 3 the hypotenuse is 5 is this arm here and now for tan theta the tan theta it is opposite divided by adjacent and here the opposite is negative 4 the adjacent it is negative 3 and the value will be 4 over 3 cent is negative divided by negative which is positive now for 1.2.3 for 1.2.3 it says proof that cos theta multiplied by tan theta multiplied by sec theta is equal to 4 divided by 3 I want you to prove that the value of this is equal to 4 over 3 then we can take this side as the left hand side and this side is the right hand side now let's take this left hand side the left hand side which is cos theta tan theta and sec theta then let's see can I have cos theta tan theta here sec theta is 1 divided by cos theta that is sec theta and not when you continue it's going to be cos theta multiplied by tan theta divided by cos theta and here it's just cos theta multiplied by tan theta multiplied by 1 which is this and here is cos theta multiplied by 1 over here divided by 1 there's just 1 here that's why it's just cos theta then when you continue this will cancel this you're gonna remain with tan theta and when you continue we know that the value of tan theta it is 4 over 3 we did it here on 1.2.2 that is 4 divided by 3 as you can see this value and this value are the same 4 over 3 4 over 3 then you can conclude by saying the left hand side is equal to the right hand side